I got injured playing rugby. When I was 17 at Ballyclare High School. I broke my neck where it instantly severed my spinal cord and rendered me paralysed. At the minute I am using every muscle that works. So if there's a possibility of enhancing what I've got, I'm going to look at it. I'm suffering with spinal cord injury. I have to deal with this every day. I struggle with everyday simple tasks, which many others just have no problems with. If there's the possibility of stem cell therapy giving me an advantage, helping me to be more independent, then why is it not available? As a Christian, I believe that everything happens to me for a reason, and I would have a problem with the abortion side of embryonic stem cell therapy. Would stem cell therapy give me enough mobility back? Would I be able to walk again? Th these questions are not known. Obviously, everybody wants to strive to become better, to become more what they used to be, to be more independent. And if there's a way to do that, then why is it not being researched more? Why is the funding not there? As a quadriplegic, walking isn't my first, most important objective. Uh, because I don't function in all four limbs, the most important thing would be to, first of all, get back a bit of function in my arms to allow me to be more independent. If there's an operation or treatment available to improve my level of function, well then, I knew it would work. It would definitely be a possibility and I would probably want to go for it. The real problems of stem cell therapy are ethical issues and it seems to be financial issues. Um, unless the government gives funding for research, then n nothing's really going to be able to be achieved.